Hello, I am Mr. Fixer from ES Repair. Here we have another match going on in Fortnite. And that one looked like a Terminator. Uh, here we are, we're all gathered around waiting for the uh, the bus to come along, wait for all the players. Uh, I've seen Stormtroopers on here, Terminators on here. There's just about every kind of disguise, uh, outfit you can think of. And they do have more, which I will go into later on. Now, as you can see, we're in a different route, so I'm trying to figure out what good place that I can go. Now, usually I go to the ship, but this time I'm thinking about doing something a little different. Now, you see those houses right through there that where a little the river looks like comes in there, the, cha the channel? Well, I'm going to go right over through here. Now, sometimes it's a good idea to do. Sometimes it's not. It just depends on the luck of the draw, I guess. I mean, sometimes you can find good stuff over here. But sometimes you also find other players and there's no good weapons that you can use. Now, sometimes we go on this far to the edge of the map. Yeah, sure, you may have fewer people, but you may have to run clear across the map. So I went ahead and got into this house, looking around. Hopefully I could find something, but so far I've got shield, potion, and some ammo. Of course, ammo ain't going to do me any good unless I have a weapon. Well, I've got a little bit of my shield up. This looks like a new house that's supposed to be built. And I've been hearing other people in the area, because you see that red dot up there, fighting going around. So I didn't want to draw too much of attention to myself. Well, I kind of scout the area trying to find a, some weapons. Because it's going to be hard to, uh, to deal some damage to them when I've only got a sword. Or what they call a harvesting tool. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go. So as you can see, it takes a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get out. I don't see anybody, but I know they're out here because I hear them shooting. Now, somebody was in the house, and I figured, well, maybe now's my time to make my escape and get going. And, of course, somebody's shooting at me now. So i got to hightail it to try to get out of the way. Um, there's one of the vending machines. I can get a weapon, but somebody's still shooting at me. And I don't want to stick around to find out. Now, the campfires that you see there, now, you can light those up and heal yourself. I'll have to show you on one of these videos. It comes in handy if you're alone and don't have anybody nearby you that you have time to heal. There's somebody over there shooting at me. Now, this is one of those weapons. This is that EGG weapon. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it shoots a grenade or something. But the thing bounces around. And it does electrical charge or did it explode or something. I'm not quite sure exactly what it does. But I've been trying to, the player over here is shooting at somebody, and I'm trying to intervene with this weird gun or weapon. And I'm like, nah, this ain't going to work. So I might as well just hightail it before I got killed. Now, somebody's been over here. Oh, well, there's more um, shield potion. I'll just duck inside here. Oh, got me a chest. Oh, finally got a weapon. There's another slurpy thing. Now, these I got a little bit back. I'm going to shoot, cut this up, get some more through it. Got to watch out from hitting those gas cans because boy, <laughs> I was doing it one time and actually hit one and boy, it just went out in flames. <laughs> I was sitting there just a burning on fire. 
Now you see the little cloud of smoke right here. It means a uh, box is about to drop. And you'll see it on the map in the upper right where that box is at. So the bad idea is I'm sitting out here in the wide open area waiting for that box to drop. Now I know those players are out there because I was interacting with them earlier when they were shooting at me. So I'm definitely waiting for this box to show up so I can cut and run. Because as you can see, I'm out there in the open. Okay, got me a purple bazooka, or well, rocket launcher. That'll do. Got me some other weapons, that's good. Now I've got something to fight with. Now I'm gonna go over here and check this shit out. And, oh, 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 got somebody here. And boy, that was a close call. I was trying to see where she went. Now I got someone over there shooting. This is one of the things about getting ambushed, boy, especially when you get two people shooting at you. Oh, here we go again. Go over here and hide behind this tree. I know they're shooting over here, I just ain't figured out exactly where they're at. Hopefully they'll stick that head out. And maybe I'll see them. But rule of thumb, once you've exposed your location, it's best to run. Now it looks like somebody took off on the car. Now see, that's crazy. You ever seen a car just float through the water? And believe it or not, they get tanks that do that too. They can drive in the water. I think they got a glitch in the game. Because I didn't know tanks can float in the water. Let alone cars and uh, commercial vehicles. But in this game they do. So I decided I'm going to hightail it. I couldn't figure out where it was at. I decided to go in this bush and see if I can find out who's coming behind me. Now there was somebody over there, but they've been shot and eliminated. I'm trying to figure out where they're at so I can shoot them. And then I decided, well, I'm going to make a break for it. So I'm over here running, waiting to see if anybody shoots at me. So far, so good. No one's shot at me yet. Got some good stuff here. Upgraded that weapon. Now I get a blue one. And you got that fish here, which I don't need. Now I'm going to hide that at the end. It was a close call. I mean, sometimes people will stick around waiting for somebody to come by and pick that stuff up, and then they can start shooting them, and I'm like a target. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. I do the exact same thing. I'll sit there and wait for somebody, and then I'll start shooting at them. Now, this is a thing here, a signal thing that I was supposed to do during the quest which I will go into later on. Uh, there are quests that you can do through this game, which helps boost your levels and your skills and all that stuff, and it's part of the game. But it's kind of hard to do, since a lot of these people are just too eager to shoot you that you don't have time to actually do some of the quests. So sometimes these quests happen by accident. You just happen to be in that right area. Uh, I'm going to check this house. Oh, well, got me a sniper. I love the sniper weapons. In case you haven't noticed. It's easier to shoot a target from a distance than it is to try to do it up close. And 
and you know some people just don't like using the sniper or some everybody has their own favorite weapon they like to use me I like to use the sniper weapon they also got the heavy duty one and I like to use it that one's real powerful so I'm getting up here on the roof to have a look good place to hide as you can see somebody's done blown a hole through the roof now there's a tank and I know there's a tank there's usually a tank in this in this area now the trick is I don't know if it's a player that has this tank or if it's an IO guard that has the tank but I'm about to find out because somebody just parked over here at the gas station and I'm thinking it's a player because there are players and of course somebody's shooting at me this is why you always look at the top because I found a player and if I remember correctly it's the banana man we all remember him there's a tank and I shot at it of course it didn't do a whole lot of damage he shoots the side of the building out <laughs> So I'm jumping down before he blows the building up. I'm running around here the corner. And I found a chest. But I'm wanting to find the tank. Now watch what happens when I use the rocket launcher. Now the rocket launcher will... Uh, target that tank and then hit it but I have to move because then they're going to turn around and start shooting and I don't want to be there when that shell gets hits the ground Ooh, found me another shield potion there's another uh, rocket launcher but it's blue mine's purple so I'm sticking with it now I'm going to go back up here. Now keep in mind that airship is still up there at the top. It's still up there. Just keep that in mind. I'm trying to figure out where someone is at. Especially that tank. But I don't see the tank, and I want to shoot the tank again. <laughs> I hate those tanks. <laughs> they're good if I'm in it, but when somebody else is in it, boy, they're they're a pain in the ass to to shoot. Oh, here we go. Boom. I see they got the question mark. They know somebody hit them. Uh oh, here they go. They're hitting me, shooting over here again. I just shot me another rocket launch. Hit them again. And it's funny watching these things explode. Yeah, there he is. Boy, he's almost on top of me now. Bam. And there he goes, up in the air. <laughs> now the guard's still down there. I didn't get rid of him, but I sure got rid of that tank. Now I'm looking for someone else, because I know there's got to be some other people down here somewhere. So I'm still looking. And you gotta watch, check everywhere. Oh, there's gonna be some gold and ammo. Yep, there he is down there. That's the IO guard from the tank. Oh, here comes a player. About caught me off guard. Yeah, there we go. Took care of that player. Yeah, they were shooting everywhere, and I'm sitting there shooting a little bit two things. So I had to change weapons and get a better weapon to start shooting them. Oh, good. I got me a 
auto shotgun that's purple. I love purple weapons. Now somebody's shooting, but I ain't figured out where. Now keep in mind, there is an air blimp right above me. See, somebody's shooting. I have a hunch that's where they're at. And you'll see that's who it was. And it's probably Banana Man. I've been seeing him quite a bit. Here's be another chest. Got me some more ammo. Now I'm going down here to the bottom floor. And I don't have to worry about a tank, but I'm sure there's still vehicles around here i got to worry about. Now, from the looks of things, the way this thing's moving, this is going to be almost the center of the uh, of the um, eye of the storm, where the final battle is going to take place. Now, that is the heavy uh, sniper rifle that I was telling you about. That's better than the other one I had. And that's what I'm going to start using because... Somebody is up there on that airship shooting down at me. And I've got to find a way to get to them. And here I am trying to get up that roof that blew in the hole in. Now, see, there we go. So I know he's coming from up there. He's still shooting. Now, see, I just had proof. That's where it's coming from. And watch him. I'm trying to... Oh, there he is. Now I know where he's at. And that's a close call. I just lost my shield, so i got to get my heavy sniper rifle. And see if... Uh, it is Banana Man. Yeah, I thought it was. Hold still. Now, he runs back and moves into a different angle. Now that he knows I can see him. Come on. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I've had a few run-ins with him. He's a good player. But, yeah, I've gotten him before, but he usually gets me, and he just went up that cable. So, he's left. But I'm wondering if he's just relocating to a different location up there. But the other thing is, you also have the storm that's closing in. So I'm trying to go in here and hide. And there's not much places I can hide because somebody took the floor out. And the storm is closing in fast. And I need to get me in a good spot where I can ambush them. That's what I want to do. I want to ambush them. Because if that storm leads them right to me, then I can sit there and just blow them away. And that's what I'm doing. It's pretty much on top of me now. And as you can see, that blue out there, that's the wall. And you can see on the map how small the circle is getting. Everything in the purple, that's been destroyed. You can't survive out there. And as the game progresses, that whole that circle gets smaller until there's no only one person left. And it looks like we have... Uh, not many people left. Looks like three people are left. But yeah, it's not very many people. And that hole is just getting smaller and smaller. And I can hear them fighting. 
I could hear bullets firing, flying through the air, so I know they're out there. Because I can hear them. And I'm just patiently waiting because it looks like it's going to lead them right to me. But yeah, I think we're down like to three people. And look how small that hole is now. And it's difficult to know. I mean, this is where it really gets intense. I mean, we're down to the last three players, including me. And it's just a matter of time. There goes some firing. See that red dot in the upper right? There's activity on that during that direction. It's those two. Now I'm trying to decide that shield's moving again. See how that storm's moving? It's closing in. Look how small that dot is. Now I'm poking out to see if anybody's there. And I've been debating whether or not I should have just stayed where I was at. Because it looked like I was in the clear. But I wanted to try to find the other player before they found me. So I go in here looking. And I've got my gun drawn because I, I'm trying to prepare myself when somebody walks in. And there they are. So I got the shot and they got me. Boy, that was quick. <laughs> oh, that was quick. And they got me with a Stinger SMG. Look at them dance now. <laughs> They're boogieing now. Well, that concludes this video. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Be sure to click like if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on that bell notification to be sure that you also get the update notifications when I upload these videos. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. See you in the next match.